What's up guys, my name is Adapt, welcome back to another video on the channel. So we're back with another formation review, and there's no face cam in today's video, so it's just kind of late really, I'm kind of tired, and I just didn't really want to turn the face cam on right now, but anyway, we should be getting back to face cam in another video or whatever, but this is just i want to say a one-off but i can't promise anything but anyway this is the team he went ahead and put together it's quite nice i wanted something different so he went ahead and went with a kind of Serie or slash bundesliga team so that's what we went with in today's video chemistry isn't quite 100 but i thought i'd just go and have some fun i haven't tried some players like foot future star bentacore out or bentencore however his name's pronounced i haven't tried out this rodriguez card actually i haven't tried out voland i haven't tried out name golan ones to watch i thought i'd try some players out which i wouldn't normally use so this is what we went ahead and did so in goal i went ahead i bought Neuer for 35.5k then i've kimmich i packed him actually first on untradeable can't remember what pack in i think it's a non-tradable 35k pack or something i can't quite remember and then we've got boateng 14,250 coins he's very cheap right now and these are his in games i'll show you guys the in games as well on both the cards so Noy is just a keeper which i believe is underrated he played very well for me in the games i did play with him then we have chiellini 35k i bought him for and he's a decent card as well which i haven't tried out yet this year then we have alexandro went ahead and bought him for 23,500 coins he looks quite decent and then getting into the midfield positions we have james rodriguez who i went ahead and bought for 44k and i was going to get his informed version but this champions league version is 44k it's much cheaper and what is the difference in their stats it probably is little because of the same rating anyway so i went ahead and bought this james rodriguez card and to be fair he did quite decently in five games he hasn't got any goal contributions but he seemed to be played quite well on the ball then we have benton core who i enjoyed a lot 77k for this foot future stars card uv player so he gets a good link in the squad with chiellini gets a strong link right there if i switch these two now it won't improve the chemistry because he's getting a link into diabola as well so we have him and i went ahead and went for 77k these are his in-game stats i bought him with a marksman chem style didn't do that on purpose i just bought him with whatever chem style we had on him then we have name golan now high high work rates is very good for a more defensive minded player and free star free star isn't good at all but he isn't a player who's going to be skilling other players up he isn't a player who's going to be scoring lots of goals and he's just more of a defensive player so in five games he's got zero goals and one assist so he's got one goal contribution in five games so he's been quite decent for me these are his in games right here now getting into the camera we have Diabola. now Diabola went ahead and bought him for 32,250 coins an absolute bargain because he played amazing in game three star four star but in five games he's got seven goal contributions which i believe is just amazing he's just been a great card for me i've had so much fun with him in the games i've played with him and he's just been clutching up and scoring goals when it's mattered the cam's been very involved in this formation i've found and then we have Voland up top in our right striker role went ahead and went for 105k in five games he's got five goal contributions which is decent for a striker maybe he could have more goals but as long as he's contributing as long as he's doing well then i can't really complain too much high high work rates isn't too bad he's gonna work hard and free star free star isn't great it isn't great at all to be honest with you guys but i just want to try someone new out and then we have headliner sapata who in five games he's got two goal contributions he scored two goals and he only cost me 22k so a very good value card four star three star three star scones isn't great but four star weak foot is decent and it's what i need in a striker so these are his in games right here good strength good jumping not good stamina at all really 75 stamina that isn't great very good heading accuracy 88 composure 84 dribbling so his in games are decent to be honest with you guys so that's the team we're using i'm gonna get into custom text and the player instructions and i will be right back 
Now getting into custom tactics guys, I thought we'll try something different in today's video. We're using a 4-3-1-2. We've got a player with high high work rates in Lane Golan. We've also got a high high work rate player in I do believe Voland. So I've got players in this team who are going to work very hard, who are going to cover a lot of ground. And I've got a packed midfield so I thought why not use press after possession loss and it seemed to work quite well. I'm using 5 balls of width and four balls of depth this is my really go to and it didn't do me wrong in this formation as well it seemed to work quite well then for the offensive so i've balanced width i've got it at a medium level i think this is a good level maybe i'd have it around three balls away from the max with other formations but i think at this level it's just right then for players in the box we've got it at five bars that seems to work quite well then for corners, I have three balls for corners and I have one ball free kick. So for the corners and free kicks, it's what I'd normally use. And then plays in the box, I have changed it accordingly because we haven't got any wingers in this formation. It isn't a formation where you're going to be crossing a lot. Now getting into the player instructions. So I have stay back or attacking on both fullbacks. On my more defensive midfield, I've got stay back or attacking. On my central midfield, I've got into the box for the cross. And then on my more attacking midfielder in James Rodriguez, I've got him on get forward and get into the box for the cross. Then for Dybala, I've got him on stay forward, obviously being the main attacking midfielder in this formation. I want him to stay forward and help my attackers out. And then on my right strike, I've got, I've got get in behind and stay forward. And on my left strike, I've stay central and come back on defence. So guys, those are the custom tactics, those are the player instructions. That is the team we're going to be using in today's video. Now let's get into the gameplay. Now getting into gameplay guys, we come up against someone with Purple Rashford, he has Purple Hazard as well, I actually forgot what they were called for a second, they're both player of the month cards. But anyway, I was just watching some of the International Champions Cup, I do believe it's called, and it was just Real Madrid v Bayern, and Madrid scored some very good free kick guys, and it was 3-0 when I saw it at first. When I switched on to the game and then Madrid made it 3-1. I don't know what the score is now but Bayern's keeper got sent off. And it wasn't really a red card in my opinion. I think the player made the most out of it to be honest. But anyway, let's get back to the game. I just thought I'd tell you guys about that. And there was an Arsenal game on earlier versus Florentino. And Arsenal managed to win 3-0 so Arsenal are looking very good going into next season i think enketio scored two and mustafi was trending on twitter just for how horrible he's been playing like arsenal really need to get rid of mustafi but anyway we get into this game right here and it's 2-1 as i'm commentating right now and i think this guy gets back into the game right there at a 2-0 lead and obviously i'm just trying to extend this lead right here get that two goal cushion back and we do eventually get it from kickoff and make it 3-1 so we score a nice goal from kickoff right there with Dybala he makes it 3-1 Dybala played a key part in this squad he was just a very good guys like his finishing was amazing he'd always finish most of the time guys he was just a very good player in the squad to be honest and I'd expect someone else to be clutching up and scoring all the goals but it was Dybala which surprised me quite a lot for a player of his price but anyway we go ahead we get that win 3-2 we come up against someone with team of the year Ronaldo and I really just want a team of the year Ronaldo card that card looks absolutely ridiculous but he's like 8 million coins which I don't have enough coins to get him but anyway we get into this game and early on in the game we're just waiting for him to open up some space for him to run at my team and leave gaps in his defense so i can go ahead and counteract on that so i'm just passing through i'm being patient and we put it into the back of the net with i believe that's diabola right there so diabola puts it into the back of the net yet again coming up clutch and we find ourselves in a good position very early on in the game so we get that one nil lead right there and we're coming back for another so diabola plays it to voland voland plays it back to diabola voland's on the ball right here and he's going to try and move his keeper I read that I was a bit apprehensive before taking the shot because I knew something like that would happen and we go ahead and we make it 2-0 right there with Volland so Volland 
is getting involved it's nice to see that as he is a striker in this team he should be one of the main guys scoring in this squad but anyway we come back for more we play it to Zapata, Zapata does some nice footwork right there and he puts it into a back end net makes that 4-0 right there I believe or is it 3-0 still so it's 3-0 right here this guy's had enough he goes ahead he quits out of the game and we come out of that with the win this guy has a nice foot birthday a Bamiyang card in the right wing role haven't tried that foot birthday a Bamiyang out he looks like a very good card to be honest with you guys and this guy was very hard to break down we managed to score a goal with Volland from a free kick set piece and I believe this guy is going to go ahead and equalize and I think this was a one all game to be honest with you guys not a lot happened in this game both of us were very hard to break down it was a game contested in the middle to be honest with you guys the ball was pretty much stuck in the middle of the pitch i think he got very lucky i made a tackle i made a good block here he gets the ball back he shoots it straight in front of my noia card and my noia fumbles it into the back of the net which i didn't think was warranted to be honest like he shot it straight at me my keeper should be saving that no problems or parrying it out for a corner which he didn't do and that guy managed to get the draw out of that game then we get into our next game and i start off this game very good i get a bit lucky there but sometimes luck goes your way and luck kind of went my way with that goal and we made it one nil right there now this guy's going to try and come back but we do go ahead and intercept his pass and Zapata is going to play it through to Dybala, Dybala plays it to Voland. then Zapata is going to get the ball back, we're going to play it to Zapata and Zapata is going to put it into the back of the net and that is how the game ends, that guy goes ahead and quits out of the game and we get the win right there, so if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button, subscribe to the channel down below, I'll see you guys in the next video, see you guys later, peace. Damn, I'm